Marvel has had plenty of attractive men and women long before the Marvel Cinematic Universe with all of their handsome Chris's. And in the 90s, they actually capitalized on this by making the Marvel Swimsuit Special. Because comics. Hello and welcome to Because Comics, the show where we look at all of the unique, crazy, and just straight up bizarre things that make comic books, comic books. I'm your host, Drake McWhorter. So, yeah. In the 90s, Marvel decided to make a little parody of the famous Sports Illustrated swimsuit special with their own knockoff. However, the magazine ended up being so popular that they made not one, not two, not three, not four, but five of these. I was actually able to find a few issues of the swimsuit specials for um, research, not for personal use. So uh, I definitely think that I am qualified to tell you what they're all about. As you'd expect, these magazines feature multiple Marvel heroines, all spread across tropical backdrops in scantily clad attire. The results range from sexy to plain adorable, like this page of Siren singing with her father, Banshee. But don't worry, for all of you lovers of the male physique, the swimsuit special has you covered as well. Like Namor the Submariner's loin shell, or Punisher's whatever this is supposed to be, or Dat Cat booty, or uh, what the hell did they do to Cable? Like seriously, what, what am I looking at right here? What even is this? My favorite though is Doctor Strange, who apparently uses sorcery and literal demons to keep him tan when it's raining outside. If you're more into the dark side though, some villains even got in on the action, such as Venom and Typhoid Mary. Most of the images even include some commentary, but like 90% of them are just awkward and uncomfortable. Just, just listen to this. When the invisible woman said she was gonna wear a see-through swimsuit, I knew I shouldn't have got my hopes up. Well, like they say, what you see is all you get. Or this one. Look what my metal detector picked up on the beach. Old Peter Rasputin, AKA Colossus. This guy saves a bundle on suntan lotion, but then again, he loses it all on silver polish. Or, or th this one. Meow. That tiger's one fine feline. Wonder if she needs any help cleaning that fur. Maybe I'll ask after her catnap. Or this one. Sundown's dinner time on Monster Isle and it looks like Wolverine and Jubilee have the right idea with their weenie roast. But, uh, someone should tell Logan to keep an eye on those dogs. They plump when you cook them, you know? Yeah, I feel like I need a shower after reading those. Gross. The magazines are very tongue-in-cheek, often including goofy images like this game of tug-of-war, the Human Torch roasting hot dogs, or literally just a naked ghostwriter, which may or may not be the only full frontal nudity that I have ever seen in a Marvel book. Though, no matter what silly stuff that Marvel tried to throw in to justify these magazines, we all know why they were really made. Boobs and butts, and uh, centerfolds. Sexy, sexy centerfolds. Here's the thing, a lot of people would consider this to be pretty scummy. So, get this, Marvel actually included in continuity reasons for this to happen, such as Tony Stark hosting a charity swimsuit photo shoot, or Janet Van Dyne hosting her own shoot in Wakanda during Black Panther's week-long engagement party. So yes, Black Panther's party ended up just becoming a giant swimsuit fest. There's also the time when the Guardians of the Infinity Gems, called the Infinity Watch, decided to have a poker game. Instead of money, the winner got to make their teammates their slaves for a day. Well, a sleazy character named Pip the Troll won and had his buddies use their Infinity Gems for a party. To make things even creepier, he basically mind-controlled all the superheroes into relaxing and partying before secretly taking pictures of everyone for his quote-unquote personal collection. Or how about this time when the Inhumans hosted a tropical party on the moon? No, I'm serious. In the Marvel Universe, there's a blue spot on the moon with a breathable atmosphere, so the Inhumans temporarily use their technology to turn it into a tropical paradise. And for the last one, the prince of the fictional island of Madripoor invited a bunch of heroes into his kingdom to boost tourism. 
In my readings, though, none of these escapades were ever referenced in the main Marvel comics, especially not the time when Pip the Troll kidnapped everybody, since he literally wiped their minds immediately afterwards. But he still kept the photos, because just look at this guy, he is ah, so weird. There really isn't too much more to say because this was really just an excuse to show off some Marvel skin, but it's still one of the absolute strangest things that come out of the 90s. But don't worry, there is plenty, plenty more crazy 90s stuff, and we've only scratched the surface, the tip of the iceberg on this show. So if you want to see more episodes, then by all means, please consider subscribing. And I'm really excited where Because Comics is going to go because there is a lot of strange, strange things. But if you want to see another video, then uh, why not consider this one right here? It's a good one. You might actually enjoy it if you like this.